<laughs> All right, Azalea, tell us today's a very special day. <laughs> it's mine and my husband's anniversary today. We've been married three long years. We've been together for six years. Six million years. We've done a lot in six years, and we're gonna celebrate. We're taking the day off. We're not working today, and we're gonna go for a swim in a local swimming hole and talk about married life. The pros and cons and how we've learned to live with each other. <laughs> so we're gonna get a little bit more in-depth this video. I think we're gonna ask ourselves some tough questions about relationships and how we've made it this far. Okay. Yeah, a lot of you have asked us how how we're happy, what we do to stay happy, and like how we take care of each other and like relationship, you know, stuff. So we thought we'd dive into that a little bit while today is a very special day to celebrate our relationship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's get ready to go. We have our gear. Baby water bottle. Stuff we're not bringing. Chibi broke the drone. It's supposed to arrive today, the new one. So no drone today. Camera book bag. Another water bottle. The wrap. Yeah. Azalea's book bag with Bye. books. That's right. Bye. Nice. Blanket. Towel. Mostly eaten smoothie, we won't bring that. Yum, iced coffee. Beautiful tomatoes, those will stay here. Beautiful women, they'll come with us. Everything else can stay. Woo! Adventure day, here we come. I'm Juby and this is Justin, and me our sweet nugget, Azalea. We've been living in our self-converted school bus since 2018, and after a year and a half of building our home, we can finally hit the road. Join us for the ride as we continue our adventures in our big red pepper. We made it to the Eno River and a different parking spot. Wow! Ah. <laughs> that was so crazy. In the three years that Justin and I have been together, We've learned a lot about each other and especially living in a tiny space. We've been through ups and downs and highs and lows for sure. And we each came into this relationship with like past baggage from previous lovers that kind of wounded us in, in various ways, but also taught us things that we needed to know to come into this relationship to like get us to where we are now today. For me, some of the baggage that I came into was a lot of issues with trust. I had never been in a relationship prior to Justin where my partner hadn't been with someone else whilst I was with them. If Justin's working late, just like the stereotypical things when I'm like, oh my gosh, like something's up, he's not being normal, maybe he's hiding something from me, all this kind of stuff. So I really struggled with that in the past. But to get past that, I've just always reminded myself that the love that we have is one of a kind and it's so strong that all we do is talk it through and he helps me understand that there is no one else and it's frustrating for him, I think, but also needs to be talked about just so that I can kind of like get past it because otherwise if I just sort of bottle it inside and not tell him that I have been feeling a certain way or like concerned about a certain thing, it builds up this weird energy between us that kind of can drag on for multiple days and then we end up getting more distant from each other and then I get upset because I'm feel like we're being distant and we're not being close and we're not speaking openly about things and how we feel and we're just not being normal. All the things that stem from the initial root of trust issues can flurry into something not so great over the course of days. We've learned that we just have to kind of hit it, hit it on the head 
from the beginning and just be like, what's the deal? Why do you feel this way? And let's talk about it. Sometimes you gotta just bang it on the head. How does it make you feel that I have trust issues, babe? Sometimes it's very frustrating. Sometimes it gets on my nerves. But it's cool, man. We all come with our own little things. And part of being a good partner is being able to understand and appreciate and support and respect where your partner comes from. That being said, it's not like I'm some perfect gym. Came with all my issues too. Part of being good compatible partners is knowing that you you both come with your own little things that you gotta learn to deal with. For me, it was easily overindulgence. I was a party guy back in college. I met Juby in Hawaii, very interesting time in my life. After I left Hawaii, I went back to finish college, I kinda dove right back into my college party days. Drinking and the drugs, I just, it got to a point where that was what my life was really consumed to do, was to get together with people, have a good time, and drink and do drugs. Once me and Juby moved in together in Baltimore, it still kinda stuck with me. Not kinda, it did. When we would go out to drink and have fun with friends, I would go way too hard. I didn't have the limitations of maturity to give myself fun with drinking in a responsible way. And so that took an impact on our relationship. A big impact. And so Juby, I gotta give her credit, she dealt with me, I was so hard-headed and did so many stupid things, but she stayed with me and worked with me and gave me a hard time and kicked me in the ass, gave me the patience I needed to pull me out of that and recognize that there are better things that I could do than to spend my time and energy treating my body like that and that fun can be found in another way other than drinking and doing drugs. And I became a better person for it. That's the beauty of a relationship. True relationships boil down to falling in love and then taking that person for who they are and then working with them to make both yourself and your partner a better person. I just went for a little walk down this trail here to try and find the right spot. What do you think, say? Don't eat it. Whoa. Whoa. So, for a pack lunch, I made these bomb like summer rolls. It's just a bunch of raw veg with a rice paper wrap on it. And then we have like a delish soy peanut rice vinegar sauce. The most valuable thing that Justin's taught me over the last six years of being together is just how to be more of a positive person and appreciate more of like life on a day to day basis. I am the more cynical one of our relationship and I can be a bit of a Debbie Downer from time to time. Having his lust for life is always something that has brought me back alive because that's also something personally that I have as a weakness in myself is that I'm just a bit more of like an emotional kind of depressed, not all the time depressed, but just a bit more like sad, you know. Well, emotional. I'm a Pisces, so if you know much about Pisces, then you kind of know a bit more about how we are. But Justin's really helped me just live better, like day to day, like live a harder life, live a more joyful life, live a more full life, just of being together with family and appreciating the small things and just enjoying being outdoors and doing things more to appreciate the time that we have. I'm grateful for his positivity. <laughs> Meanwhile. Hey. Camera woman in the back. You're in the shot. You're supposed to be behind the scenes. <laughs> She's telling us what we've taught her. What have we taught you? Mom and dad taught me how to use the GoPro. <laughs> Jeep has taught me a lot. But I would say one of the things that sticks out in my mind to quit being so analytical and take a risk. Sometimes I'm the worst at just like making up excuses as to why you shouldn't take a dive and do something. I still remember when we went to buy the bus, we went and bought the first bus we saw. I thought that was absolutely crazy. It turns out, old trusty Dusty, she's a reliable one and she's been a great bus. She's been the perfect bus. 
And so I try to remind myself that Juby sees things in a different way. She's definitely got her own particular type of lust for life. And I love how sometimes she just takes a dive. And sometimes you do, when you're making decisions in life, you gotta take a dive. Not every decision is gonna be perfect. Not everyone's gonna be right. Most important thing is that you take the decisions that you've made and you learn from them. And sometimes action and quick action is better than just sitting around, farting around, just like yeah. overanalyzing. What is the hardest part about marriage? I was making the transition from being so self-centered and being concerned about yourself and your own well-being and like the direction that you personally are going and transitioning to where you are now, like after marriage, your unit. It's not all about you, it's about you as a couple together. You have to be very aware of somebody else's feelings. You've got to be respectful of what somebody else wants to do, the direction in life that they want to go. And it's a very like team oriented project, I guess you could say. It's a big transition and it's a big growth moment too. It was one of the most challenging for me, but at the same time, it's one of the most appreciative skills I probably gained today. It's just recognizing that everything isn't about you. More so when you have a kid too. Make sure you live in a way that makes everyone in your family happy. It doesn't mean you don't give yourself the time of day and the respect to do the things you wanna do or take care of yourself, self-care, and all those other good things. You still need to do those things, but it's just a whole different ball game whenever you are with somebody else. Kind of in contrast to what Justin was saying, I think one of the hardest things about marriage is the fact that we are two completely separate people and we have two separate minds, two separate bodies, we come from different backgrounds and then we are coming together, like Justin said, to act as a unit and to like form ideas of how our life is going to go for the future as well as like living it together in the present. One of the hardest things is that we are still separate people and we do still have separate goals. So learning to compromise and um, understand like reasoning of the other person we each communicate very differently justin processes his feelings very internally and privately and over a period of days whereas me i like to talk about it all up front and so just like finding ways to like respect the way that we each act as like individual beings has been quite a challenge but also one that has been fun to learn and adapt and grow with and one that we have become to better understand the longer that we are together. Babe, what's your favorite part of marriage? The fact that I get to see your face every day. My face. I miss you so much when you like just go to work. <laughs> I don't know, I just miss you so much when I'm away from you that I love that we get to spend each and every day together. I love that we get to watch each other blossom into these amazing people and help raise an awesome little small person. I don't know, I love that we get to adventure in life together. I wouldn't want to do it with anyone else except you. What's the funniest part of marriage? The fact that we're so comfortable with each other. What does that mean? <laughs> that means that we fart everywhere. We poo in the public space. <laughs> <laughs> no, what? what? <laughs> I mean, the door of our toilet room is a curtain, which generally never gets closed, so. Let's just clarify, we don't just poo everywhere. anywhere. <laughs> no, I mean like in, in, you know, in our home, it's not private. I just, we're just so comfortable with each other that we feel comfortable to like speak in silly accents together and like make jokes and um, be goofy to each other and just, I don't know, be playful because that's what life is or should be about, being silly most of the time and serious maybe like a third of the time. <laughs> Let me see your cheesy smile. Don't have one. Let me see it. Not right now. I Come can't. on. Let no, me see the it. moment is so not cheesy. <laughs> Is it? You packing up? Duh. It's been a good sesh here out in the water. It's amazing how much cooler it is just out here beside the water underneath the shade. Join us for the 
ride as we continue our adventure. These guys haven't seen a previous YouTube video, the one of what we ate in a day. So they're watching it now while we have some lunch. <laughs> She's Woo! pretty, pretty hyped about Crazy. the whole thing. <laughs> what do you enjoy the most about our relationship? Snuggling and laughing and eating and dreaming and cooking and playing and growing and drinking and watching movies and I'm raising our little baby. Should I go on? What do you wish that we had more of in our relationship? Tom, instead of having like generally 90 years, I can go for like 300. As long as I wasn't old like that <laughs> long, you know? You wouldn't get bored of me? Nah, no, I never bored of you. One of the things that I truly love the most about Justin is that he has this like super intense love for gardening and taking care of the plants and the greenery. I appreciate how much energy and time he puts towards taking care of my flowers for me. <laughs> What's the most annoying thing? <clears throat> I love you babe, but I do have a lot of things that annoy you now that you've given me some time to think about it. Annoy you? Annoy me or annoy you? <laughs> that annoy me. It annoys me that you claim to have bad hearing, but you just choose not to hear me when I say stuff. And wait. That goes hand in hand with the fact that if I do tell you to do something, generally it takes you like a hundred years to actually like do it. And if I ask you to do it again, you complain that I'm nagging you. And I don't know how to win in that situation because I asked you nicely the first time. The second time I was just telling you to do it because it was annoying me. And okay, that's all right. The first time you should have just done it. It sounds like an exhaustive list. Have you got more? I mean, I could go on. The list of annoyances is less than the list of how much I love him and things that I appreciate that he does. But those two things are definitely things that happen regularly that really, really, really grind my gears. Babe? What? What I love about you? I love that you're artistic. I love that you're creative. I also love that you enjoy taking risks. If there was a MacGyver, except like a female artistic MacGyver, you're like that MacGyver. Except I don't think he knows that I don't know what a MacGyver is. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who know who MacGyver is, you'll know who I'm talking about. The other things I love is that you're loving and caring and you work hard. And if you want that fruit off of that tree, you'll climb that tree to get that fruit. So what annoys me? Oh my God. Uh <laughs> Get a zoom in. Zoom in here. It's another uh, uh, She always nags me to do uh, something. Because you don't hear me, babe. This is my time. No backseat talking. <laughs> About the dishes or how I didn't do something. <laughs> no, you zoom back in here. <laughs> uh, I can't think of them now, but there's plenty of them. But I love you. Hey Zay, what's annoying about your mama and your pops? Bob, what? Chicken, the chickens are annoying. Mm -hmm. What do you love the most about your mama and your pops? Pop. Popcorn? Popcorn. Popcorn. Ow. You know what mama loves about you? So you give really good snuggles. Yeah. And she stole your seat. <laughs> okay, you can have my seat. What's your favorite memory? I cannot narrow that down to just like one memory. There is too many. Our time biking around Baltimore together when we first moved in together. Our salad parties, lazy donut times, times that we've been to festivals together. When we got married, when we had a baby together. Adventures and we rode a scooter together. When we decided to live in a bus, times in Chicago and all the travels that we've done together in England, getting our tattoos together, swimming in the ocean and swimming pools and I got it could just go on and on and on and on. There's nothing in our relationship that I eat, ever want to forget. Even the bad stuff, I don't want to forget it. She never does. <laughs> I, it's true, I don't. I hold on to stuff, which is maybe a bad thing, but I feel like it helps us to know what not to do for the future. There's so many good hey, memories. We've accomplished having a little nugget. So 
living in a bus, building our own businesses, supporting ourselves, laughing almost every day. And the last question needs to be, what advice do we give to other couples? My best piece of advice would be, be patient with each other and listen. Relationships aren't always necessarily perfect union between two perfect people. Oftentimes, and I believe a majority of times, they're a beautiful union of imperfect people. And the point of the relationship is to build and grow together. Succeed, yes, you will indeed. Find me eight and three quarters, and guaranteed, kid, you will win. What a day! What a day! What a good day! Happy anniversary, babe. I love you. Another thing I might add if you're considering being a patron, <laughs> we highly suggest it. There's some great benefits over there. You can just go over there, check it out, and click sign up, and all of a sudden, boom. You don't have a beard to do that anymore today. You're a patron. <laughs> yeah, you never know, you might get a postcard with Azalea's chocolate thumbprint on it. <laughs> Actually, just kidding, Justin's very particular and would never send one of those postcards out, although I'm sure you guys would love it. Nonetheless, no chocolate for you. <laughs> I'm excited to have so many new people coming and joining us with this channel and our journey and I'm just excited to keep creating content and like fostering this amazing community of people of like-minded souls and yeah I'm just excited. I'm excited to see where this journey is taking us. You got a tight crew too. All a, those folks in the comments. Tight crew. You all guys those are subscribers. A tight crew. I'm just saying they're really, really nice. <laughs> Your yeah, comments we are amazing. appreciate the kind comments. I mean, I know that there's some trolls out there, and we get them every now and again, you know, about like my armpit hair and stuff. But like, <laughs> honestly, I'm just gonna go like this to all those trolls because, like, that's not what this is about. I what know. I was getting I'm at, sorry, was that. <laughs> See, this is where he's positive, and I'm not. Our which is why I love you. Our subscriber base <laughs> is a uniquely uplifting. just uplifting, and just. It's like if you were to go through all of YouTube and pick all of the really, the really kind, kind-hearted souls. They came over here to this YouTube, and I'm happy to have each and every one of you here. Your kind words makes my heart sing. It's true. Let me hear it sing. <laughs> It'd be like some jazz soul, you know. Mmm, get cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. I thought you were going to go into a theme song. That would have been a good thing. Like, <laughs> that's the song that it reminds me of. Anyhow, we're rambling now. We'll catch you guys. You look like you knew what you were going to do. But then you I know, confused. but then I know you don't like it when I do that. We'll catch you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> no, week. that's no, 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 no. <laughs> well we hope you enjoyed this video let us know if you want more videos of this sort of like theme i guess and we'll catch you next week i want to hear you amped up babe give me an outro that's amped give it to me it's okay i want to hear it I'm go medium, give me the best you got right give me now. the best you got you guys rock my socks off oh my god that's great is it? Yeah. We had a lot of fun with this video. We did, and we hope that you're taking the time to go outside and appreciate your loved ones and just talk about what you uh, like about each other. I will leave you with a challenge. What is it? Go to your significant other. If you are single, go to a friend, go to a family member, and just go and tell them something that you love about them. I love you. <laughs> you guys have a good week. See you next Ladies. time. Are we done now? I feel like we tried to end it multiple times. You can't drag it on. Wait, are we actually done? We don't have to be done. We can keep going. Are we done? Love you. Love you too. And um, we're going to the mountains this weekend. Cut. Oh, no. <laughs>
Should we keep going? Okay, <laughs> all right. Yeah, I think you've got enough talent to support. I'm tired. Is that okay? Are we? I have a couple things to do. Are you? You have a couple things you have to do. Yeah. Or you made me feel bad about it, but you're like, I actually have stuff to do. Mm. Welcome to married life. <laughs> Let's go. Do we even get all that? Yeah. <laughs> what is happening? Pickle, 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 pickle. Pickle, pickle, pickle. Oh, my God.